I'm Brenda Caldwell, a.k.a. Dr. B. Welcome to the Hope Zone, moving you from a place of hopelessness and brokenness to a place of healing and wholeness, a place where hope is alive to bring you more peace, more joy, more freedom, and more understanding of your God-given purpose. Let's enter the Hope Zone. Hi, and welcome in to another edition of The Hope Zone with me, Brenda Caldwell, a.k.a. Dr. B. Listen, I'm excited about you joining me today because we are talking about letting your faith be bigger than your fear. That's it. I said it. Let Letting your faith be bigger than your fear. Think about those things that you are currently right now having um, faith for. You know, is there something that you're hoping that's going to come to pass in your life? And you've just, you know, you've been really trying to keep your faith up. You've been really trying to have the faith, but fear has creeped in. Fear has a way of creeping in. You know, whether it is a uh, issue of your health, I mean, sometimes that can be an issue. Sometimes it can be um, a financial issue. You know, you've been having faith for more money. You've been having a faith for to buy a home. You've had faith for, you know, to purchase something, having faith, uh, you know, to put your child through school, having faith uh, to get another job. It's just so many ways in which we have to have faith in order to see, if you will, the next come to pass in our life. But when we have faith, the thing is, is that we're going to have fear. Fear is going to show up in some kind of way. You know, you you can have a lot of faith and And you can, you know, have your, you know, be strong and be confident. And you've just been declaring the word. You've been declaring declaring promises. And then you get a doctor's report. You know, you've been, you've been believing God for healing, but then you get a a doctor to tell you something. You, 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 you get uh, a bad report and it sinks your faith. It does happen. It does. When you talk about having faith, first of all, let's talk about what faith is. Faith is having confidence that God will do what his word says he will do. Think about those times in your life that you really need it to see the hand of God move in your life. You, you, you were believing God. And it may not have come when you thought it was going to come or how you thought it was going to come and, 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 and all of that, but God came through. It, it may have been a midnight hour, but he came through. Faith is, as the Bible says in Hebrews uh, you know, 1, 11, that faith is the substance of those things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. Hebrews 11, one, I should say, faith is the substance of things that we are hoping for. And it is the evidence of what we cannot see. So when we talk about having faith, we're talking about being able to have this confidence in God, that God will do what his word says he will do. And it's like faith has eyes because faith can see something. Faith can see it before you see it. But when you have faith for something, it does not mean that you're not going to have a battle. Fear is always going to try to come in. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Fear is facing everything and running. Fear is having faith for the worst to happen rather than the best to happen. So when we talk about having fear, fear will have a way of speaking to your ear just when you have built your faith up and will tell you that's not going to happen for you. God's not going to do that for you. That door is not going to open up for you. You're never going to be healed of that. You're never going to see that come to pass. Your child is never going to be delivered from that drug addiction. That, 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 that door of opportunity is never going to open up for you. That that dream job can never open up for you. That business, oh, you fooling yourself. That could never happen for you. Fear will speak. And fear will knock. Fear 
devil has a way of knocking. It will knock on the door. But when fear knocks, you don't have to open up the door. Come on, somebody. If you knew that it was a burglar knocking on your door, are you going to open up the door and say, hey, come on in, Mr. Burglar, get what you want. Hey, go to the bathroom. Go back there. You know, I got a game room. You know, I got a big, you know, 65-inch TV. No, you're not going to willingly let a burglar come in and wipe you out. That's how you have to protect your heart and not let fear come in and wipe out all of the faith. Come on, the confidence, the strength, the hope, the joy and the peace that you have been holding on to, believing God that is going to happen for you. So don't let fear come in and wipe out your faith. Always let your faith be bigger than your fear. In fact, don't have a relationship with fear. Don't, 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 my fear. People say my fear, you know, my fear, my anxiety, my worry, you know, my concern. No, don't have a relationship with these negative demon, demonic spirits. No, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Second Corinthians 2, 14, we have the victory over fear. Fear is the spirit. Second Timothy 1, 7, God says, I have not given you the spirit of fear. So therefore we know fear is just a spirit. It is a bully. He says, I haven't given you the spirit of fear. I give you power, love, and a sound mind. God gives us power, power to believe. He says he gives us love. Come on, his love, perfect love that casts out all fear. That's what his perfect love does for us. Fear. He says, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Hebrews eleven six 6 says, anyone who comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. So if we're going to please God and we're going to stay strong and we're going to keep our faith, We've got to be able to know and understand that God is who he says he is. He's not a man that he shall lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Shall he say it and not do it? Has he spoken it and it not come to pass? That's Numbers 23, 19. Listen, understand that you have the power every single day, no matter what you believe in God for, no matter what it is that you are desiring to see come to pass, hold on to your faith. You've heard me say, if you've listened to any of my podcasts, hold on to hope like it's a piece of rope. Well, hold on to your faith. Come on, hold on to your faith for a brand new day. Hold on to your faith till your breakthrough comes. Hold on to your faith until you see the promises of God. Hold on to your faith. Why? Because he is faithful that promised. Hebrews 10, 23 says, hold on. Uh, to your faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise you can hold on to your faith. If you don't have anything else, sometimes faith is all we have. I talk about hope. Hope gets you up. Come on. But faith gets you going. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Let your faith always be bigger than your, than, than, than your fear, than fear. Don't have a relationship with fear. Come on. Come on, understand that you have the power to believe God. That is your right as a believer. That is your right as a daughter of God, as a son of God, as a child of God. That is your right. Nobody can take your faith from you. Don't give people your faith. Don't give people your faith. Don't give anybody the faith that God has given to you to believe him, to trust him, to wait on him, to believe, to trust, to wait. Come on, that's the epitome of faith. To believe, to trust, to wait. That is the epitome of faith. To believe, to trust, to wait. Let that be the epitome of your faith. Why? Because your God, is faithful. He is faithful and he, he will pay you back for having faith. He says that, come on, Hebrews 10, 35, come on. He says, cast not 
therefore your confidence for it has great recompense of reward cast not away your confidence which has great recompense recompense means the big payback come on so don't go he said don't throw away your faith he says i'm gonna reward you I'm going to pay you for having faith. Come on. God rewards those who will keep the faith. Keep the faith. No matter what, keep your faith. Keep your faith. Feed your faith and starve your fear. You probably have heard that. And it's a powerful statement. Feed your faith. Ah, feed your faith and starve your fear. Stand on the promises of God, no matter what. Believe God for your healing. Believe God for deliverance. Believe God for the relationship healing. Believe God for your physical healing. Believe God for your mental healing. Believe God for your emotional healing. Believe God for your financial healing. Believe God for your breakthrough. You won't have a breakdown. You're going to have a breakthrough. It does not matter what it's looking like. It does not matter what the enemy has said. It's not, it doesn't matter what these demonic Spirits are whispering to you, understand that God is faithful. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Keep the faith. Trust God. Trust him because he is trustworthy. Not everybody is trustworthy, but God is trustworthy. He deserves. All you have to do is think about those times in the past. Didn't he bring you through before? Didn't he bring you out? Didn't he bring you over? Didn't he deliver you? Didn't he come through? Didn't it, when, it, when you didn't have money, didn't he make a way out of no way? Come on now. Think about it. Think about it. Go back into your journal and begin to read look back over your life look back in your memory life in, in your memory book come on somebody pull it up on your phone look at the pictures whatever you can do remind yourself that your same God the same God that brought you through darkness before is the same God who will bring you through darkness again he's the same God that will bring you out of darkness into the marvelous light and show you who you are are to him you are his child he loves you he has not forgotten about you he will never forget about you he will not leave you or forsake you no matter what the enemy is saying to you so let your faith be bigger than your fear trust this god trust him hold on to your faith he's going to take you through this dark season He's going to take you through this season of transition I talked about last week. He's going to bring you through. He's going to bring you out. He's going to take you over. You can trust God because he's trustworthy. Keep feeding your faith. Stand on the promises of his word. Feed your faith and starve that demon of fear. That's a word. It's a quick word. But I pray that it has blessed you this day. Listen to this podcast over and over. No matter where you are in your life, you need faith. There's not a day that goes by that we don't need faith. You get in your car and you drive, you need faith to make it from A to B. Because there's so much just road rage activity on the streets today. With all the mass shootings and killings and all of the, that we need faith literally just to stay safe today. But trust God, you can trust him. No matter what your situation is, you can have faith. And that faith will bring you through. There's nothing more powerful, nothing more comforting, nothing more reassuring than knowing that you can have faith in God. You can lose faith in people, but don't ever lose faith in God. He is worthy. He is faithful. He is reliable. He is dependable. He is your all in all. He is everything. He is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is the good shepherd. He is the bright and the morning star. He is the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley. He is king of kings and lord of lords. And he is worthy to be trusted. He is worthy of your 
faith. Well, I'm closing out today. I wanted to give a word of impartation to remind you to simply let your faith always be bigger than fear. Well, I'm Dr. B. I pray this word has inspired you. If it has, share the podcast. This I do this podcast to bring hope, hope for every situation. And today it's about reminding you to hold on to your faith. Always hold on to your faith. I pray that you share the podcast, episode 72, to God be the glory. We're continuing uh, this work and so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. For more knowledge and insight about who I am, go to drbempowers.com. Drbempowers.com. I'm in the earth to give hope where hope is needed. And I always say, always say in a world full of darkness, there's a reason to have hope. So you know what I want you to do. Hold on to hope like it's a piece of rope. Until next time. I'm so glad you made it to the end of the podcast. If the Hope Zone is making a positive difference in your life, please subscribe to the show so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a review. And most of all, share it with your friends. And remember, from your worst day to your best day, There's hope in every situation.